Hello and welcome. This movie is part of the leading bioethics campaign launched by Saipem in Nigeria. The purpose of this campaign is to help you better understand business ethics and integrity principles that are Saipem values and relate to business practice and personal conduct. Such principles apply to our company and are relevant for everyone acting on Saipem behalf or carrying out business with Saipem in Nigeria as well as in other countries where Saipem has its subsidiaries. We will show you five different cases as examples to allow you to think in relation to the five following business behaviors. Circumventing the law, lack of accountability, stealing of company information, bribery and conflict of interest. Raising the awareness on such topics is a critical part of our company efforts to protect each of you and Saipan Group from business ethics violation and related consequences. After viewing this movie, you will be better equipped to identify and deal with business ethical challenges. Today. Good morning, madam. Um, we're going to 33 Admiralty Road. It's in Lekki, and um, I have to be there in 15 minutes. Do you know the place? Yes, I do. Okay. 15 minutes. Mm hmm. make it in time. <laughs> Why not? Look at the traffic over there. If you take the next street on the right, we might meet up in time. But it's a one-way street in the opposite direction. One way? No, 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 Alaba. Even if we're a leader, nobody's watching. It's against traffic laws and it's very dangerous. And uh, for instance, if somebody's coming from the opposite direction without watching and not even expecting us, what happens? That's an accident, you know. For Saipen, there is no ambiguity when it comes to compliance with the law. We must all do it at all times. This is the company position, looming deadlines. No one is looking, my boss told me to, and other reason to not justify the circumvention of the law. Please, don't think that you are helping the company by taking illegal shortcuts or solutions. On the contrary, you are actually destroying the company by doing that. Good morning, this is Internet Solutions. My name is Kudus. How may I help you today? Good morning. I have an issue with my router. Okay, ma'am. Hold on one moment while I transfer you to the appropriate department. Hello. Hi, John. Hey, what's up, Kudus? Please, are you available to help a customer with our router issues? Man, sorry. I'm not handling router restoration issues today. Can you talk to Ikena, okay? Yeah. All right, Okay, thanks. Hi Ikena, how are you? Hi Kudus. Are you available to help a customer with a router issue? Uh, Kudus, not today. I'm actually working on a router issue for a different client. I suggest you speak with Adela, if it's okay. Okay. Hi Adela, how are you? Hello. Please, are you available to help a customer with a router issues? It's 10 minutes to my lunch time. <laughs> I can't take any calls right now. We have to be after lunch. Bye. Apologies for the delay, ma'am. Are you still with me? Yes, please. 
Thank you for holding the line. All our technical guys are currently busy. However, not to worry, I'll take it from here. I'll transfer your request to the next available technical agent to resolve the issue for you. In the meantime, please send an email to technicalservices at internetsolutions.com. I'll reach you on this number tomorrow to find out if the issue was resolved. Thank you very much, ma'am. Have a nice day. Thank you okay. for calling. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. This is Kudus from Internet Solutions. We spoke yesterday. Yes, please. I'm calling to follow up if your router issue was resolved to your satisfaction. Yes, it was. Thanks for following up. Thank you very much, ma'am. Do have a lovely day. You too. Thank you. There is a clear link between accountability and higher work performance. Without accountability, performance suffers. It improves competency and commitment to work, boosting employee moral and work satisfaction. Therefore, our company encourages employees to take ownership in order to have high levels of trust between all the departments of the organization. Take initiative, do the right thing for the business, follow through, get done what you said you will get done, take responsibility for the results. Do not assume it's someone else's responsibility. Other team members are dependent on the results of your work and you don't want to let them down. In our company, accountability is everyone's responsibility. Michael. Yes, boss. I'm going home. All right, sir. Okay, lock up the kitchen. Okay, sir. Okay, take care. All right, chef. See you tomorrow. Okay, take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Finally, I'm alone with the award-winning recipes. My pay here is horrible. And I have so many bills to pay. With these recipes, I could open my own restaurant or sell it to the highest bidder in town. Yes. Yes. In fact, I know the right person to call. Hello? Yes, I'm um, done. It's me. Yes, um, I finally got the recipe from my best restaurant. Of course. Okay, okay. Um, all right, all right. How much, how much are you going to pay? Listen, you are my friend. I'm doing this for you. All right. All right, give me like um, 10 minutes. I'll be there in a moment. Yes, yes, I'll be there. Stealing, disseminating and selling company information is a crime and a gross breach of cyber policies, in respect of which there can be no tolerance or flexibility. Disclosing confidential information puts the company in danger within the competitive market. Can you imagine what would happen if our sensitive information and data is spread across the industry? Good morning, 
Ma. Good morning, sir. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Please sit. What can I do for you today? My name is Mr. Robert. Um, I come to follow up the admission of my daughter Jennifer to your school. Is there any update for me? Mr. Robert, I sent you an email last week. We reviewed your daughter's application. Unfortunately, she hasn't been evaluated as one of the candidates to be accepted. Please, Ma, I brought this envelope with me. Inside there is a gift for you and you only to better support the admission of my daughter. Mr. Robert, bribery has no place in this institution. That's how we keep our standards high. Please take this so-called gift and leave my office now. CIPEM does not tolerate any form or degree of bribery. Offers of gifts or hospitality are not considered legitimate if the intention behind the offer is to give an advantage to the individual or organization making the offer. In such cases, the offer is made with the intent that the person who accepts the offer or hospitality will perform a function improperly or partially. The test of whether the intent of an offer of a gift or hospitality is to induce improper conduct or confer an undue advantage is subjective and depends on what an innocent bystander or third party would think in the circumstance. It is important to note that the acceptance of unlawful gifts, services and hospitality lowers our standards and reputation and leaves our company vulnerable to accusations of unfairness, partiality, dishonesty, deceit and unlawful conducts. Joe, that was a terrible game. Your goalkeeping is getting worse. You did not follow any of my instructions and made a lot of fundamental mistakes and displayed lack of effort and skills. Honestly, the team will not rely on you in these matches. If only you can be disciplined and focused like the, the second goalkeeper, the team will be winning matches regularly. I know, Uncle. But you cannot choose Adewale over me for the Governor's Cup competition next week. All the dignitaries will be there. The Governor, Commissioner of Sports, and even the professional scouts as well. Remember, Uncle, that you promised me you always do the best for me. You also promised that this is my opportunity to get notice and give him a professional deal. Of course. You know you are my nephew. Your interests are important to me. I'd rather get you noticed. I'm probably tapped by one of the scouts from the big clubs. Your future is my priority over the team. A conflict of interest arises when an employee has personal interest they may interfere with her or his ability to impartially take decisions in the best interest of a team or organization that it belongs to. As you could see, a conflict of interest, like in the case of a man being the coach of his nephew's soccer team, risks to hamper the competition and in any case creates a loss of confidence among players as to the game. Saipen personnel should avoid and report any conflict of interest within the company to their supervisors. Dear colleagues and business partners, I am truly confident that the vision of this movie helped all of us to better understand the risks related to business ethics and integrity matters, to which we are exposed daily in our business environment. Moreover, I really hope, after your participation in the Leading by Ethic campaign, you will be better equipped to identify and deal with ethical challenges. Any misunderstanding or mistakes can have a dramatic impact on all of us. Integrity and an ethical approach are the two legs that can support a sustainable business over the years. We are 
and we want to be recognized as a company that acts in an ethical and sustainable way. To such aim, it is absolutely essential that all Saipan people and business partners in all segments of our activities comply with ethical standards that are part of the Saipan system. To prevent any form of corruption in relation to its business activity, Saipem takes a strong stand against all form of corruption and bribery. Should you ever encounter behaviors that you suspect are in breach of Saipem code of ethics or applicable laws, you must always report them without delay. Remember, shortcuts and excuses are not acceptable. Our world-class leadership is built on our past, a great heritage. This is the result of our passionate daily efforts in delivering our work with high standard of competence and quality. As it was yesterday, it is today and it will be tomorrow. Let's do business the right way. Let's provide an even better heritage to the next generation. Let's all be leaders by ethics. This is the Saipan we like. This is the Saipan we want.